Hey guys, thanks for joining me in another episode of Sealed for Good. Today we're going to be talking about external waterproofing and that detail that is so important between the windows and doors on balconies and decks and how you integrate that, that detail with your waterproofing membrane that goes out on the balcony or the deck. So just check this out. So what we've got here is a simulated section of a typical balcony detail where we've got, pretend this is a cement sheet flooring and this is the internal area of the house and the building and along this section here would become the window or the doors. Now often I see guys go out to waterproof jobs and the doors and windows are already in and then they've got to waterproof as best they can and this is the detail that counts, this junction here because you've obviously got the inter internal area and the balcony deck area and that joint is a critical one, it needs a bond breaker. So firstly the best way of doing this and the way we try and get all designers and builders scheduling it is to ensure that this gets waterproof first, it's in two stages, windows and doors come in and then the, water, the rest of the waterproofing happens before tiling is going to happen later on. So what we've got here is our Elastiproof B50, as many of you know, our bond breaker, elastic bond breaker that is used at the wall floor junction first that creates the bond breaking section of the membrane system and the second part of it, it's waterproof. Most critical joints waterproof. And so this example here, we've installed it with our P39 for the fact is that could be exposed to UV light for a little while. So it gets wetted in. The fact is we'd actually coat over the whole section of this but I've left it exposed just to demonstrate how the elastic proof is at this junction. And then we have the section that comes inside the, the room above before the doors and windows come in and we should be coming back to about 150 200 mil back into the room now there's a really good detail in the Australian standard to show this if you need a drawing or diagram on it our office name will pass that on but this section here happens first okay so here then we go here and then the windows or doors get placed in play, in play. now we can use our butyl tape along this detail or we can use our RF fabric and the RF fabric, all the butyl tape, if the butyl tape goes down, the P39 gets coated over the top of it afterwards. If it's our RF fabric, we wet that fabric into the P39 membrane along the whole section. And so we've got a seamless detail once this is finished, completed like so. That goes in place, that's waterproof. The other trades come in, they place their window and door on top, they get all that section done correctly. In the event any damage happens to this section here, even though it's important, we can still identify it because the waterproof is going to come back later and tank the rest of the balcony area. And that waterproofing will happen when it overlaps this as a seamless finish. And if there's damage, it can be repaired. And that waterproofing should happen just before the tiling finish is going to happen or the screed. Now, if we're using our GC2 system, which you can see over here, the sheet, we can still integrate our sheet over the top of this. That gets laid down on top tanks the whole balcony area, we do the rest of our detailing and bond breaker with the elastic proof around there, integrated to this section along here and happy days, it's waterproof, it's tanked and we can flood test it if we need. This section guys is the one I see so often come unstuck on balconies because of the scheduling side of it, where people don't communicate with their client, with their builder, with their waterproofer and ensuring the right detail is there for the recess from the finished floor level. And we've got all those sections in our specs. If you need that, please contact us. We can pass that on. But guys, if you're doing balconies and decks for your clients, get them to schedule you to do this section first. You waterproof under the doors and windows. You know that's done properly. It protects your builder and client. And then you come back after and get the rest of the works done. If you've got any more questions on this, you know where to come. Tech Services has got you covered. Don't forget to subscribe to Sealed for Good. We're here for you to pass on more information and ensure you get these details right so you're waterproofing successfully in the future. Until next time, I'll see you in another episode.